where we came from is essential to our understanding of who we are as an institution. The goal of providing a quality, competitive education at an affordable price is what we have always done, and God willing, it is what we will continue to do. Our differentiating characteristic is our capacity to live out our important Franciscan values that guide us in our every decision. These Franciscan values are based on a caring community, a compassionate attitude, and a reverence for all creation. These values form the basis of our identity as a community. These values are our guiding principles that connect us to our patrons, St. Francis of Assisi, and to our Catholic heritage. So what is a caring and a compassionate community, and how do we here on Remsen Street strive to be one? A caring community is one that welcomes and celebrates diversity. And just walk the halls of our college on any given day, and you'll understand what I mean. In fact, US News and World Report, in addition to some of those other things that they listed us on, also noted that we are among the five most diverse colleges in the North. A caring and compassionate community offers peace, hospitality, and friendship. I'd like to believe that as a member of the Brooklyn community, St. Francis College strives to be hospitable and friendly, and that it works to offer a peaceful atmosphere where our students, faculty, and staff can study and work, and where our neighbors can experience and enjoy art, lectures, recreation, or just have a place to hold a forum. A caring community respects and celebrates the dignity of everyone. St. Francis College in Brooklyn embraces those who are different, disenfranchised, or marginalized, and seeks to make a welcoming atmosphere for all who walk through our doors. We are not just the Irish, German, and Italian Catholics from Brooklyn anymore. We are also the Serbians and the Croatians and the English and the Haitians and the Nigerians and the Israelis and the Bulgarians. We are Jews, Muslims, Pentecostals, Buddhists, and Hindus of this great city. We do really reflect the melting pot in which we live. We celebrate this diversity, and we celebrate the dignity of each member of our community in the spirit of St. Francis, who sought and embraced every individual for who, who he or she was, not because of the number of coins in their pocket, or the size of their home, but just because each was created in God's image. Is that <laughs> we have an obligation to continue St. Francis's tradition of embracing all human beings by creating a community that cares and serves. This is why the brothers came. This is what we continue to do. And this is what I know we will continue to do for at least another 150 years. This is the heritage we must nurture and preserve for the future generations of New Yorkers. Speaking of heritage and legacy, over the years, the college has indeed made a name for itself and contributed mightily to society. Our best advertising and best promotion is those we graduate many of whom have, have distinguished themselves in a variety of fields, such as finance, accounting, philosophy, education, the law, and yes, banking. Our success stories take us to places as different as the CIA, the NFL, Major League Baseball, and the US House of Representatives. Many have chosen a different path, simply choosing to stay home and care for their families. Countless alumni have dedicated themselves to social pursuits. Priests, brothers, sisters, teachers, police officers, firefighters, and civil servants. Just as a snapshot and an indication of the impact that we have on our city. On that horrible day, September 11th, 2001, there were many of our alumni called to action. Some made the ultimate sacrifice. But what I wanted to point to in reflecting on this, 
call to community service. There were many alumni who responded to the tragedy and chaos in different ways, including in leadership roles. On that day, the acting head of the FBI, the New York City Fire Commissioner, the director of New York City Office of Emergency Management, the first deputy commissioner of the New York City Police Department, the first deputy commissioner of New York City Fire Department, everyone a St. Francis alumnus. The singular idea that connects every one of them is the strong Franciscan tradition of commitment to service. It's been at the core of the college since that first day in 1859 when the doors opened at St. Francis Academy. This commitment to service is our core value. As a result, our students and alumni have an innate understanding of what it means to give back to the community. We see them volunteering their time and treasure with social and religious organizations throughout the city and beyond. We have been blessed to have a foundation that is so well grounded in faith and intellectual ideas. We are fortunate that we've been able to find and raise the resources in order to continue to enhance the academic and social experience of our students. I am humbled by the men and women who have come before me and allowed me this opportunity to continue this work. I am fortunate to be surrounded by a faculty and administration who are smart, energetic, and eager to continue to create a campus and institution that challenges our students and gives them a competitive edge in this 21st century world. These are people who impress me each day with their ideas, their dedication, their innovation, and their intellect. They make my job almost unnecessary. Perhaps I should get that application in down the street. <laughs> but actually what they do allow me to do is to spend time looking at the big picture and envisioning another question. Where are we going? I can tell you with great certainty that we will continue to leverage the past and build upon it. There are challenges to be sure. The demographic reality of there being fewer high school graduates over the next several years, both nationally and locally, will make demands upon us to work harder and smarter if we are to keep our enrollment where it needs to be. We must therefore bring the good news of what is happening here at St. Francis College to a broader audience. And we need to take advantage of our location in beautiful, booming Brooklyn Heights Issues such as space, and in particular accommodating additional residential students, will need to be analyzed and built into our planning process. St. Francis College began small. I don't believe any of the brothers that were involved at the beginning could envision where we are today. But what they began and what they have forced it is allowing us to dream big and dream for at least the next 150 years. I am grateful for the legacy of the Franciscan values. I hope that they will continue to serve me, our faculty, and our administration, and the students in the coming years. I hope they will continually remind us of where we came from, what we are doing here, and where we should go. Thank you all for your attention, your presence, and your prayers. And I wish all of you, in the words of our patron, peace and all good. Thank you.